What's up, YouTube? What up with y'all? It's your boy Top Chef. Today, it's a different video, all right? I cannot cook, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I can't cook. Ask anybody that know me. I don't cook. I won't cook. I can't cook. I'll buy anything you want to eat, but I can't cook. But today, I'm gonna do something different. I'm about to cook Sunday dinner, you know? Let me show you what I got over here. As y'all can see, I got cornstarch, sliced peaches, got some white sugar, brown sugar, pie crust. Y'all probably like, what you about to do with that? Well, y'all, today, I'm attempting to make some peach cobbler, but not only peach cobbler. Wait a minute, we got more now. Hold up, let me get this out. I got some baked chicken in here that I already pre-prepped last night. Actually, my lady pre-prepped it. I just want to sound like I did something. Got some more baked chicken, and so that's gonna be chicken, you know? And then we got some potatoes. So what I'm gonna do is make some roasted garlic potatoes, some baked chicken, and I'm also gonna make some peach cobbler. It's about to be interesting, y'all. Right now, I'm actually watching a YouTube video on how to make peach cobbler. Like I said, I don't even know how to cook. And I ain't gonna be in this shirt. Y'all not gonna see me in this shirt. It's my school shirt. See that there? I got a whole little setup today, y'all. My baby got me for Christmas like a couple years ago, so y'all about to see me get down and dirty. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all watch. This is going to be epic. Y'all see this? I told y'all I was playing today. Look at say. Look at say. King of the kitchen. I ain't playing today, y'all. Y'all bring a full tutorial from somebody who cannot cook. I'm literally watching a YouTube video to be able to do this video for y'all on how to make this. So y'all make sure to like down below, all right? This is for all my brothers who, who can't cook. I'm going to show y'all my favorite utensil. I can make a mini turkey in a microwave, all right? But today, like I said, we making some garlic roast potatoes, some barbecue baked chicken, and some peach cobbler on the side. But hold up, you know, what's a peach cobbler without some ice cream on top, vanilla ice cream? Lactose free, of course, y'all, because I'm lactose intolerant. You know what's funny? I ain't noticed how tall I am, y'all, until I be on camera. I look like Wizard Kelly right now. It all started with orange basketball, y'all. Y'all stay tuned with me, y'all. Y'all got to, I'm gonna be honest with y'all if it tastes nasty, I'm not gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? My lady gonna help cook. Well, no, she not gonna help cook, she gonna help taste it, you know, y'all know she pregnant. So, I'm on her feet. I'm trying to be special, I'm trying to learn how to cook for the baby to get here. Y'all, y'all work with me, all right? This is gonna be a little segment we're gonna do every, I'm gonna say every Sunday, I'm gonna try to stick to it, all right? As y'all see, Shout out to my lady, y'all. She pregnant, but she still come through. She already seasoned the chicken. She seasoned the chicken last night for me. She wanna, she wants a few that's air fried, so I'm gonna make her something that's air fried, and I'm also gonna make something in the oven. So the first thing you gotta do is preheat the oven to 350. That's the first thing, even for the peach cobbler. You gotta preheat to 350. After you preheat the oven, I got all the, everything out I need. I got this for the peach cobbler. I, don't, I might put some chicken in here, but I'm pretty sure I'm having to use four for the chicken because we do not have a big uh, pan. So I'm using some aluminum foil and just lay it on the rack in there. But you gotta do what we gotta do, you know? Like I said, I don't cook. We don't even got the right stuff to cook. We eat out a lot. But yeah, so after that, let me run out all the ingredients you need for the peach cobbler. For the peach cobbler, they say get four cans of pieces, uh, sliced peaches, you need some cornstarch, you need some regular sugar. You need some brown sugar. You need two uh, pre-made pie crusts. They also say get some vanilla extract, some ground cinnamon, some nutmeg, and some, I think that's it. I got all that. Butter? I don't know, y'all. This tub ain't looking too good. We gonna see what's up with it. All right, y'all, so the first thing we gonna do is we gonna take two of the pie crusts out of the box and well, with the directions say, from the video I watched it, they say overlap them because one won't fill it up. So you gotta overlap, so one here and then one there. I'm gonna show y'all that right now. Yo, I ain't never cooked this before in my life, I'm telling y'all, literally. You can ask anybody, I'm not even capping. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna unroll it. Man, I'm a little nervous, y'all. There's a snake in my boot. Y'all gonna realize, I just say a lot of random stuff, I'm not gonna lie. So they say put one right here. Let me unroll that. Put one here. Let that be there. And then I'm gonna put the other one in the middle. 
and overlap it. I think I might got a hang of this, y'all. Let's see here. All right. I got all this stuff from Kroger too, y'all. Kroger, it's one of my favorite stores. So, put this one here. Hold up now. <laughs> The chef is in the way. They say you want to just brown it for like 20 to 25 minutes. That's why I got the oven preheating to 350. You brown this for like 20 to 25 minutes. You don't want it to cook all the way because you still got to put the filling on top. Then put the other pie crust on top and then go put it in there again. So let me do that real quick. Okay, the oven just beeped at 350. So I'm going to open it up. Sorry about the black stains. I might have burned a few things here and there. And I'm going to put this in here. They said for 22 minutes. So I'm gonna let this get brown for 22 minutes. Yeah, right there. And then I'm about to prepare to make the filling. All right, y'all, now I'm about to make the filling. So my butter is a little low. I don't know if y'all can see that, but this should do. They only had one full stick of butter. I'm um, gonna say that about enough right there. Let that there get like that. And he said he don't strain his peaches when he put them in there, so I'm just gonna pour them in there with the juice. So I'm gonna let that butter melt up a little bit, y'all. Uh, move it around some. All right, y'all, so that butter melted. So y'all can see that. The butter melted down. Now he said he don't strain his peaches, so let me put the peaches in there. Real quick, cut that down a little bit. Put that in there. That's one. I ain't gonna lie, y'all stuck. Oh, hey, first time, yeah, I'm a little aggressive too. That's two. As soon as I was gonna give myself a compliment, I got humbled, y'all. Let me see, this is gonna be better. That's three. Y'all be careful with the peaches, y'all. You know, these things cut you. Don't hide in there, now. Nobody says. All right, he said one cup of brown sugar. I know it's a little clunky, it's brand new. Then I gotta do one cup of white sugar in there. Open this white sugar up real quick. Let me see y'all. It's about to get, we about to get, we about to see how this tastes, you know? That's about one cup of white sugar right there. See that there? And then he say do one teaspoon of nutmeg into that. And one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So let me see. Uh, my teaspoon is that? Teaspoon right here. It's half a teaspoon. All right, this one teaspoon right here, y'all. We got one teaspoon of nutmeg going in. Not then, uh. And I got one teaspoon of ground cinnamon I gotta put in there. Put it right here. Anybody have a cinnamon straight? I know they used to have a cinnamon challenge. Craziest challenge I've ever seen. I know their mouth was dry. I know it's random. Alright, I got one teaspoon of cinnamon going in. There we go. Stir this up some, y'all. Turn it up real quick. Had to cut that up. And our timer right here, we got nine minutes left for that. You know? Oh, this looking good. It's looking real good. About two teaspoons of vanilla extract, y'all. Let me do one whole tablespoon, actually. A little bit more. He said he do two tablespoons, so I'm gonna do like one and a half because I don't want it to come out wrong. You know, I let that cook up. Let me show you how that's looking right now. Hold up. Y'all see that? That's looking alright. 
That's looking all right now. Let me let that cook up a little bit and I'm gonna show y'all. Let me show y'all that real quick. Show y'all that again. See, it's starting to bubble up. That's what we want. So while that happened, he said do five tablespoons of cornstarch and mix it with the equal amount of cold water. So let me go ahead and get that together. Got the cornstarch right here, Kroger brand, you know. <sighs> People watching might not know what Kroger is. It might be a Texas thing, I don't know. Y'all comment down below if y'all got a Kroger. So I got five tablespoons of this. Let me see what it's looking like. Oh man, this is dirty. Another one. That's two. I done made a mess, y'all, trust me. That's three. Hold up now, it's bubbling now. That's four. He said he was gonna do that, which is a good thing. And that's five right there. Now I gotta mix that with the equal amount of cold water, so hold up real quick. All right, I got my cornstarch for my water. So what he said was turn it down a little bit while it's bubbling. And while I'm stirring it, I pour the cornstarch in there, all right? Let me see. I gotta stir the cornstarch. Hold on, I gotta stir the, stir the cornstarch up my bad, y'all. And the cornstarch is a little thick, man. Come on now. Cooperate cornstarch. I think this is the secret ingredient he was saying. The corn starts the secret ingredient. It's thick though, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. This stuff thick. All right, there we go. And put some muscle into that. All right. Let's see. Now while I'm mixing, I pour the cornstarch in there. Use my left hand. Look at the flip of that wrist. See how that's going in there while I'm mixing it? All right, we got that in there. All right, y'all, the pie crust has a minute and 11 seconds left, so. Okay, while I wait for the pie crust, let me show y'all how the uh, feeling look. It look really good. Look at that feeling, y'all. Uh, I'm just letting it simmer right now till it's done, that's almost done. Then I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do next. I gotta pour the pie crust in the, I gotta pour the filling into the bottom pie crust then I gotta cut the other crust up. I don't have a roller, cause you're supposed to roll it out, but I'm gonna make it work. All right y'all, my timer just went off, but I took this out, I had to. Oh, woo! I'm not hyping myself, y'all, I'm telling y'all. This is it, this. What little baby say? Yeah, that hard. This some serious. I'm about to take the pie crust out and I'm gonna pour the uh, filling on top of it. Let me show y'all that. I can't stop. Very good, very good. Ooh. All right, hold on, y'all. Pie crust look a little. Might have did something wrong here, but it's all right. We gonna make it work. Yeah, the top crust came off, so that's all right, though. It didn't stick. Oh, boy. That's all right, though, it's crusty. That's all that matter. I'm gonna put that right here. Ooh, that's hot. Y'all like how the apron match? It's probably the wrong way, it's the wrong hand, but kitchen king, king of the kitchen. All right, let me show y'all this pie crust real quick. What's the pie crust? That part came off, I don't know if it really mattered though. I'm just gonna keep it here for right now. All right, let's see, we got a I gotta pour the filling on top of it, so hold on. Let me pour the filling on it real quick. Move that wire out the way. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm definitely gonna need more butter. I'm gonna have to make this work some way, somehow. I'm not going to the store in the middle of this. So y'all, it's here. He said pour that on top. Ooh, woo! That look good, yeah. Pour that pie crust on top. I mean, pour the filling on top of the pie crust. Get all the, my money's worth. Y'all know it's inflation going on, every piece count. Come on out there, hold on y'all. Let me get him out of there. 
inflation, every peach counts. All right, All right that's done. Y'all look at that there. Whew. Hold up now. Y'all might be getting more of these chef videos. Mm. All right, let me show you what I gotta do next. All right, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. All this cooking got me hot. And y'all probably wondering why I don't have a shirt on under this. It's hot, y'all. It really got hot in the kitchen. See what's right. So I needed a roller for this. But I'm gonna see if I can make it work because I'm supposed to uh, cut these and lay them on top. Some straight, some diagonal. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna need, I need a roller. Let's see if I can push it out with my hands. Yeah, like they gotta be gentle with this, y'all, because this is. This stuff will break. Oh, that's working though. It's like Play-Doh, honestly. It really feel like Play-Doh. Because I'm going to need them to go all the way across. All right, let's see. Now I'm supposed to cut them real thin. Let's see. I'm going to do it backwards because the knife the knife straighter this way. Yeah, that work. Don't use this side or get a, a smoother knife because this side will chop it up. It's like cutting play though, y'all. I ain't been in arts and crafts in so long. It's like arts and crafts right here. Yeah. Be careful with that top part sticking up. You cut yourself. All I'm doing right now, y'all, is cutting here. It's cutting here. See that there? Get y'all a better view. Hold up. Get y'all a better view of what I'm doing. I'm just cutting here. These are gonna go across the top of it. Like that. I know they're uneven. It's probably the hardest part of it to be honest. Now I'm gonna take these pieces and lay them on top across real quick. So hold up, y'all. Let's see if they big enough. You wanna have one overlap this part. So I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit more. That. Whoo, it's harder than you look, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. I respect all cooks. Oh, man. I don't think that really mattered, though, because he did have some overlapping. Let's see. Let's pull this out some. Oh, hold up now. Look at this, y'all. My crest went in there. I'm just gonna forget this crest part. Mmm, mmm. Move this out of the way. Uh, I'm filling these empty gaps right here and I got one more like right here I know it don't look pretty but it's gonna come out pretty and then I gotta go across with it I saw them put a bunch across so I'm gonna put much more across I didn't make these as thin because they only going across all right so I got my, my melted butter the last of it they, they slide it on there with a brush, but I'm gonna do like, I'm just gonna do a little pour, cause I don't have a lot of it. Hopefully this don't mess it up. But just make sure y'all got enough butter. I'm gonna do a little pour on each part of it. I gotta be real, real fragile with the butter right now, cause, whoo, I'm running out. Some people put egg on there, that's what they were saying, so. I don't know. I won't follow exactly how it went. Oh, the butter making its way around. Okay. Everybody got some butter, that's all that matter. All right, we got the butter on there. Now he said a little bit more sugar. Hold up, y'all know I've been waiting to do this. Hold up, let me, I'm gonna have to V-roll this for y'all. Watch this here, look at that. Y'all see how that came down? Look like a seasoned pro. Mm-hmm. 
Do one more. I'm gonna do one more. Get air coming. Ooh. I'm gonna slow mo that for y'all. And he just filled it with cinnamon. Just covered everything with cinnamon. Oh yeah. And now, I gotta leave this in the oven for approximately an hour. Then I'll get back to y'all. All right guys, so for my chicken, I just put a little more accent on it to make it a little flavor. For the air fry ones, I put a little, a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil on there. And these gotta be in here for like 45 minutes, so let me set the temperature. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. My lady loved the air fryer. She loves it. Like, she be hooking it up in the air fryer. So let me show you what the book is saying. Oh, let me get some good light real quick. Look at that. I made a mess all on the ninja food book. For chicken drumettes, this is what we got. It's a one teaspoon of oil, 390 degrees Fahrenheit. And if we dual zone it, which we are, we gotta put it on for 43 to 47 minutes. Which, that's actually perfect, guys, because look, let me tell you how bougie I am. Keep my phone in here. We have about 47 minutes left on the peach cob. Let's see how they're looking. Whoa! That looked good. And I'm gonna put the rest of this chicken in there to cook. I don't know if that's sanitary or not, guys. I don't know. We're going to see, but it should be good. So hold on real quick. Let me set the air fryer. That's how you do it. You cut the temperature on. You do match cook, air fry, 390. They say 42 to 44 minutes. So we're going to do we're gonna do 42 minutes and just check it. I'm going to slide that in like that. Voila. Mm. Magic. All right, y'all, so while the chicken and the peace cobbler cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and knock some of these dishes out just to make it a little easier to clean up later. Also got the potatoes. I'm gonna show y'all that process. Man, I look swole. Hey, y'all, uh, I've been to the gym. I was hurt, that's why I'm not overseas. I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna do a story time on that. I got hurt after my first game, dropped 35 my first game, got hurt the next practice, so came home to rehab. I'm cleared now, so. You know, just trying to grow the YouTube channel, get ready for baby girl, but yeah, I'm gonna clean these dishes, knock this out, and I'm gonna get back to y'all. Well, I'm back. So I actually did have to go make a store run. I actually did have to go make a store run. And they get some, some butter. Need it for the potatoes. So right now, I'm letting this water boil. Uh, I don't know about y'all, y'all let me know. I use hot water before I boil. Sorry about that noise, I'm letting the uh, vent, because we got a little, little toast in here. But I use hot oil or hot water to boil my potatoes just because it's quicker. That's just me. I hate waiting for cold water to boil. And also with the potatoes, I'm using bacon. That's the secret. Bacon. The roast potatoes, I'm using bacon. So we got some bacon slices here. I'm gonna uh, chop a few of these up, put them in a skillet, and then I'm gonna throw the potatoes in there. I gotta let the potatoes boil for 18 minutes. Don't let them cook all the way through, but let them cook halfway through. Let them boil, chop them up in fours, and then I'm gonna throw them in there with the bacon grease and butter. But y'all gonna see all that. So hold on. Wait, matter of fact, let me, yeah, update. So we got four minutes and 52 seconds left before the peach cobbler done. We got two minutes, 17 seconds left before the air fried chicken is done. And we probably got about, oh, look, we got a little blurry just now. Y'all know I'm here cooking. We probably got like, I'd say like, 15 minutes left for that chicken to be baked. Then I'm gonna do the barbecue sauce, but we almost done, we almost done. My woman in there is starving. The pregnant woman is in there starving. She mad at me, y'all, but I had to do this for y'all, let y'all know, y'all can cook too. I don't cook, never. But anyway, enough of that. I'll get back to y'all when I'm done. Oh, shit. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for that peach cobbler to come up. Look, y'all. Let me clear that up oh for you. This is my first time ever making it. That look delicious. Man. Oh, look at that bake, y'all. My gosh. So that's the peach cob. You gotta let that cool down anyway, but that's gonna get towed up. I got the potatoes boiling. Uh, I gotta make the bacon. Some of the chicken in the air fryer is already done. And I'm waiting for the chicken that is in here with bacon. That should be done in like 10 minutes. 
boy. Y'all let me know down below if y'all want to see more of these chef moments. Right now I got the potatoes boiling. They got to boil for another nine minutes. And now I'm going to do the bacon. Just want the bacon to get crispy. I'm going to throw that in the potatoes. Let me that bacon right real quick. Let me heat this up real quick. Hold up. This is the front burner, yeah. I ain't, do anybody else get confused about these burners? The front and the back burner be going to be out. Put that bacon in there real quick. Ugh. The thing that's crazy about bacon, y'all, it be too big and then it shrink all the way up. So you think you get that big old slice? Like, I'm just going to do three of them. Boom. Let me show you myself. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Biggest chef y'all know. Who said basketball players can't be big? Nah, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, I'm really liking this cooking stuff. I can really see myself cooking for my daughter, for my family, for my, my woman, of course. Y'all let me know if y'all wanna see more of this, for real, I'm telling y'all. Whatever y'all wanna see, y'all give us ideas. We, we fun people, we super goofy. When my lady get on pregnant, y'all gonna see how goofy we is. We super good. So yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna let that cook down. Uh, this chicken should be done. I'm gonna take this chicken out right now and put some barbecue on it, so. Oh, it got a little blurry out there. Is it me or is it the food? Y'all let me know down below. Hands down, the scariest thing to cook. Y'all be like this, Ooh. Yeah. I'm scared of bacon, it be popping. Here go the chicken. Chicken look real good. Real, real good. I gotta put some barbecue on a few of them pieces. Let me flip this bacon real quick. Oh boy. Something about bacon, y'all, that I just, I'm terrified of. Like, really. Oh yeah, that's crispy. See how I'm struggling? I'm just, oh, it's popping. Woo! The hot in here is just me. Yeah, my neighbors probably think I'm talking to myself the whole time. They be walking by. They probably think I'm talking to myself. All right. Ha, ha, ha. Now that's the potatoes guy. I don't know if y'all can see that. They got four more minutes left almost. So I'm going to cut them up. After this bacon done, I'm gonna, I got to let it get real crispy. That's calling my name though, but no dessert before dinner. And now I'm about to put some barbecue on this. I mean, the potato is done. Put this down real quick. Oh, 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 oh. Smoking hot. I'm already eating some chicken, y'all. I couldn't wait. Wipe that up. Now, let me drain these potatoes. Hold on. Y'all saying, I ain't get to the dishes. Oh, my God. A lot of work to be done here. Okay. Now, I gotta take the potatoes out and cut them in fours. Make them. I gotta make them small enough so they can be on the uh, skillet. Knife. Be careful with knives, y'all. Be really careful with knives. I cut my finger before the knife. See? They're not all the way done, which is good. That's what you want. Oh, them things hot, though. Ooh. Sheesh. Get them right there. All right, now I got to cut sideways. Make them smaller. They're too big right now. I'm going to cut that sideways again. Any of y'all got hands that y'all could just touch anything with? Cause I don't. My hands real fragile. Ooh, ooh. Sheesh. Oh. Get that in there. All right. Got a few more. I need to get some cooking stuff, y'all. All right? That's what I'm getting. I gotta get some cooking stuff. Cause I don't have, as y'all can see, I don't cook. I don't even have the right stuff to cook with. I got one knife, one skillet. All right, there we go. That's good. All right, y'all, now what I'm gonna do is open this butter up. I'm gonna put some butter on here with the bacon grease. From the video I watched, they said they like the bacon grease with the potatoes. It tastes really good. Never did that before, but we're gonna see. Ugh. Slap that on there, it should be enough. 
The bacon grease already hot and I ain't even had it on. It's already sizzling. And then I'm gonna add my potatoes into that. After that, get a little hot. Spread that around a little bit. Look at the flick of that wrist. Yeah, spread that around some. Oh, yeah, that smell good. Even with that bacon grease already, that smell good. All right, let me let this cook. Put the potatoes in there real quick. Just let them cook on each side for about, I say like, maybe say three minutes. Then I'm gonna flip them. All right, spread them out. There we go. There we go. We cooking now. Put it on high. Hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished? When I did the peach cobbler, y'all thought it was rented? Nah, I made that. Let me stop trolling, y'all. That look about done, y'all. Cut this off. Put a little cheese on there. Let's see if you can agree with cheese. Put a cheese on there. Just a little bit. That's amazing. I'm like some tolerant. Look at that bacon, y'all. Crispy. I'm about to crunch it up. Put it all around them. Get the big pieces, pick them back up. Crunch it up. Put it all around. That's why I said make it crunchy so it'd be easier. Look at that there. Don't forget your salt and pepper to hold and then put some salt and pepper on there. Camera died. But I added some salt and put the pepper on there now. Don't put too much though, you don't want it to be too spicy. Look at that though, y'all. Oh God, that looked delicious. All right, that's enough pepper. Let me stir it around a little bit more. Oh man, look at that there. Look at that. Woo! You about to get real acquainted. Man. All right, y'all, that's it for the video. Appreciate y'all watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. A bunch of this is gonna be coming. We're gonna get better and better and better. Recording gonna get better. Talking gonna get better. Interaction gonna get better. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.